Hi children welcome to grade 5 english and today we are going to start a new chapter yes chapter number 3 my shadow and before getting into our poem we are going to learn some new words yes notion a conception or belief about something what we think about something we call it as notion arent complete or absolute that is as a whole that we call it as arent nursey nursey is a nickname for a nurse one who is taking care of us buttercup a herbaceous plant with bright yellow cup shaped flowers we call them as buttercup cowherd the people who got frightened often and runs away from danger we call them as coward and children i hope you are clear with the new words now we are moving on to the did you know part here we are going to learn some interesting facts and informations about shadows a shadow is created when an object blocks the light rays if an object block the light rays a shadow is created your shadow is longest during the early hours of the morning and in the late afternoon shadows have been useful to make calculations of height and length they also help to tell the time before clocks became common before clocks came to our households with the help of what we found time with the help of shadows yes now we are going to read the poem my shadow yes are you all ready children can we read the first stanza yes i have a little shadow that goes in and out with me this shadow always follows me that it will go in and out with me and what can be the use of him is more than i can see i can see the shadows but other than that there are so many uses of this and he is very very like me from heels up to the head the shadows look exactly like me from heels up to the head and i see him jump before me when i jump into my bed it will move forward move further before i do something yes this is what they have said in the first stanza of the poem my shadow yes and can we move on to the next stanza the funniest thing about shadow okay what the poet felt very funny about shadow the way he likes to grow not at all like proper children the shadow always grows very taller and very smaller like the proper children that is the normal children how they will grow they will grow very very slowly year by year right and the shadows they shoots up taller like an indian rubber ball sometimes and he sometimes gets so little that there is none of him at all sometimes the shadows shoots up taller like an indian rubber ball and sometimes it gets very little we can't even able to see that shadow and third stanza he hasn't got a notion of how children ought to play he don't know any anything about how children likes to play he don't have any thinking about how the children likes to play but it can only make a fool of me in every sort of way while some children are playing we can see the shadows right on the ground how it will look it will be very very confusing no and that is what here the poet tells yes it can only make a fool of me it make me very confused in every sort of way in every possible way the shadow is making me very confused and making me as a fool he stays so close beside me the shadow stays so close beside me he is the coward you can see yes he is telling the shadow as coward because the shadow always sticks towards me yes and i would think shame to stick to a nursey as that shadow sticks to me 
if i stick to someone that is the person who took care of me if i stick to my nursey how i will feel i will feel very shameful because others will think that i am a coward like that if i do the same i will feel very shameful but the shadow is always sticking towards me like a coward this is what they have said in the third stanza and last stanza one morning very early before the sun was up i rose that is i rose up and found the shining dew on every buttercup that time what i can find i can find the shining dew on every buttercup flowers but my lazy little shadow but there was no shadow why because he is saying that my shadow is very very lazy like an arrant sleepy head like an arrant sleepy head it had stayed in my home behind me and was fast asleep in bed yes here the shadow cannot be found because it was very early in the morning before the sun was up right so we can't able to see the shadows at that time so for that what the poet is saying the shadow is very lazy and like an arrant sleepy head it had stayed at home behind me and it was fast asleep in bed yes and here the poet compare shadows to various different things we see each and every day right and i hope you like this poem and this poem is written by robert louis stevenson yes clear children and your homework for today's session will be you have to read the new words did you know and my shadow poem tarauli yes and after reading the my shadow poem you have to summarize the poem in your own words okay what are the points that come to your mind when you read this poem my shadow that you write and summarize in your own words on the topic my shadow this is your homework and along with that you are having another homework yes that is in your workbook yes in your workbook you have to complete question number 1 question number 2 and question number 3 in page number 30 yes what i really liked in the poem what i learned from the poem my shadow and draw a scene depicting the boy shadow jumping into bed before him as the poet is getting ready to do so here you have to draw a scene explaining about how the boy shadow jumped before him into the bed even before he does okay that scene you have to draw here and you have to complete what you liked in the poem and what are all the different things you learn from this poem and this is your homework for today's session children complete your homework and send me in google classroom take care dear thank you so much